oh, it's because of that, to ruin him uh, politically. But then I don't understand why is this route here? Like, you kill Asma and then you crown him king. Why? Why? So, yeah, you can make him a, a king of the Alawites, and uh, that would be kind of okay. And uh, the main reason why anyone would do that without using cheats is because of this. The Fertile Crescent. You see, one of the following must be true. You need to be monarchist, house of Assad, or fascist. And if you're Baathist, you only get Greater Syria. And I don't like that, because this thing doesn't give me any cosmetic changes. Uh, you only get, like, Northern Palestine, Lebanon, Hattai, and Northern Iraq. And that kind of doesn't really look the border guards are bad. Uh, the Fertile Crescent looks a mu much nicer. So I will be using cheats to go through this. Just this one cheat where I can bypass this uh, um, mutually mutual exclusiveness and uh, the, uh, the things necessary in order to get the Fertile Crescent. Now obviously uh, there's Soviet funding basically become a communist dictatorship uh, which is in the Warsaw Pact. Far-right resurgence, promote new secularism, assassinate Bashar, uh, drive out the Zionists. Uh, this is, I don't know who's, fa this is fascism, so SSNP apparently don't really like Bashar all that much. I don't know why, because they want to destroy Zionists, which are, which are not even in Israel. Then there's convince uh, Bashar to change, uh, like, to become the leader of the SSNP, so he survives, which is kind of okay. I mean, we could do that. Uh, the fact is, then you sideline the Baathists. And, uh, yeah. Meet with the clerics, cancel of the 20s, turn a blind eye. Yeah, freedom for the top hat. Oh, fun nuclear weapons! Oh no, that's a, mm -hmm. uh, that would be that would be a uh, kind of nice, but uh, it removes Arab nationalism. Hmm. Well, this is kind of what Bashar is doing uh, present day. This is like what Bashar is doing in real life, kind of. But uh, then again, we go back. Just because this route right here, I think, is the best you can have. Because of sadism, you make a cult of personality, I obviously have the family ties, I'll uh, maintain tot, tot, uh, total secularism. You have raw military strength, blah blah blah, propaganda machine. And then, you can demand or designate a success, successor. And you can put your wife. So we can have Asma al-Assad leave uh, Syria after Bashar resigns. Which is good. Which is kind of nice. Not even sure. Uh, yeah, Hafez al-Assad Jr. Don't even, don't even know how he looks like. I think I saw him once on Twitter. But, uh, yeah. I mean, okay, so... Personal favorites here... Would be... Not the House of Assad, because you kill Asma, which is, I think, a really good woman. Uh, she is the perfect, like, first lady of any president. Um... But, yeah, if you wanted to play something, I suggest playing uh, the SSNP Bathist Coalition or the actual Bathism Tree. Um, I like this one now. I kind of dig it. However, is in power and furious. The only thing this one's good for is that it gives you one nuclear technology. But then you have PMCs roaming around, and I'm not sure if I would like that. And the legalized monopolies. It's basically dicta uh, dictatorship, but uh, <laughs> Turkish lines, right. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep going with the Baathist route, so I've uh, explained as much as I could. We're gonna go with the Syrian Freedom Decree. President Bashar al-Assad's Syrian Freedom Decree shall ensure that the Ba'ath Party remains the sole legal party forever. <laughs> yeah, how nice, eh? Okay, so it's basically authoritarianism of uh, either one party or two parties. It, it can't go much different. Unless you choose for these mediocre lines where you go uh, liberal and such. 
which are just plain boring. So obviously Egypt, oh, Egypt actually has, yeah, they are like going full of the UAR. Syrian Freedom Decree, okay. Oh, I didn't read that, oh well. What do they have? An idealist president, fresh elections, or, uh, what's that? Intelligence agency control, uh, and President El Sisi. Hmm. Oh well. So we're gonna go with the first BAF con Congress. Gonna choose some important events for our aura. Okay, here we go. First Ba'ath Congress, Concentration of Power. Opening day of the first Arab Socialist Ba'ath Party Congress began with short speeches from President Assad and selected prominent politicians loyal to the Syrian, Syria's revolutionary head of state. These words were allowed by a debate on this uh, concentration of power within our new nation. Lola Assad supporters call for centralization around the executive branch, claiming that the president, or vice president, and the most senior members of cabinet have the right to make Syria's most important decisions. Longtime party members, on the other hand, wish for uh, power to be concentrated in the legislative branch. The People's Council rejecting the supposed cult of personality supporting Bashar al-Assad. However, political allies of the immensely powerful military seek a system where the clique rules Syria in the shadows rather than corrupt politicians. We're gonna be going centralization because Bashar needs all the power. And British Prime Minister has just been assassinated. It's gonna be interesting to see where that goes. The Assad family. The third day of the Arab Socialist Ba'ath Party Congress immediately began with a fiery debate concerning Syria's powerful military. Members of the uh, vehemently, uh, vehemently pro-Assad factions agree with their president's demand for a military control uh, by members of his own family, claiming that they have the nation, nation's best interests in their hearts. Party heavyweights instead desire a unique system where the ASBP itself dominates command of each military branch, overruling the executive powers of Bashar al-Assad. Naturally, allies of the national military support secular Arab generals leading our brave troops, free of intervention from both the regular army and the Assad family. The military must be Assad-dominated. Role of religion and ethnicity. The fifth day of the first Arab Socialist Ba'ath Party Congress has once again immediately begun with a fiery debate concerning the state of religion and ethnicity in Syria. For the first time in one of these significant discussions, military allies and senior members of the party have united against the interests of pro-Assad factions. They demand a totally secular Syria with every single religion and ethnicity treated equally by the government. On the opposing end, the clique calling for, for Alawitization of the nation uh, from government to education to military branches. We're gonna go with secularism here. And votes being counted. Just a week after opening day, the first Arab Socialist Ba'ath Party Congress has concluded. Nationally televised debates concerning the most pressing political issues in Syria were viewed by most of the nation and brought much pressure to relevant factions. New votes, now votes decide, uh, decide, decided at each debate will be counted by the Speaker of the Public Council, who will subsequently announce results of each policy agreement tomorrow. The pro assad faction is expected to succeed in securing its desired poli domestic policies, but some inter international political analysts have begun to speculate that the stunning party upset against Syria's president could come to fruition. Whatever the result may be, it is absolutely certain that the entire country is waiting eagerly for an end to this circus. Assad family consolidates power. The votes following each debate in Syria's Ba'ath Party Congress have finally been counted, and it appears as though pro Assad factions have managed to succeed in them enforcing their policy viewpoints. Overall, the vision for this nation, dictated by President Assad and his fellow faction members within the party, has been chosen as the superior path. The People's Council Speaker announced to lawmakers in a short address that he would subsequently be resigning from his post due to allegiances with anti-Assad cliques that failed to claim victory. This will surely trigger a domino effect with other Syrian politicians who will have realized their fa failure in establishing a nation centered around the party's ideals rather than the president's. Long live the Assads! <laughs> yes, Assadism. Thank you. Alright, so we're gonna start off with Cult of Personality. 
the cult of personality surrounding the president, we can ensure that Syria doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Bloody glorious words. Now, tell me where did the Americans get to? The influence of Boston, where the hell is that? Okay, uh, these guys are, uh... Bernie gave a speech. Bernie... I may just... become Nance Ball. If we wait for long enough. Uh, poor Gaddafi is not doing all that well. First family to visit Napoleonic Museum. On their first first trip to the Cuban capital of Havana, the first fa uh, family has been invited to the Napoleonic Museum for an, uh, an exclusive tour. Bashar and Asma are reportedly excited, but Syria's recently established intelligence agency has just issued a warning to cabinet. Supposedly, they have been they have intercepted communications in Havana that suggest an assassination plot is brewing, and any more days in the city would pose a terrible threat to the president. Ministers have issued a recommendation to the couple, urging them to cancel the tour and re return to Syria as soon as possible. Nevertheless, recommendations mean nothing if Asma can easily convince Bashar to say. Now, I'm gonna save the president and tell them to come back, because you never know what could happen over there. Italy declares the refugee crisis. Okay. Wonder where uh, Italy went down. Where the hell are they? I have no clue. Oh, only there. Oh. Dear God. Alright, let's we'll see where Italy goes. Russia just fortified its power. Oh, Queen Elizabeth has been humiliated. It's They've locked her out. Okay. We're going with the snap elections. Let's see what happens there. We see a far right emerging, maybe. Hmm? We shall see. Okay, we have cult of personality. Let's go with family ties. The Al Assad family is powerful political. The Al Assad family is a powerful political family that has dominated Syrian politics even under the United Arab Republic. Now we can replace prominent members at all levels of government and inside the military itself. <laughs> Basically making a uh, making a monarchy without the actual royalty. Nothing new happening as of yet. We're waiting for a. Uh, we're waiting for Bernie to take charge because once Bernie takes charge, I know he has a major focus tree where he can just go on a rampage and kill everyone in the USA. Because we did that, you remember. I believe Canada is also going to have uh, a Donald Trump focus tree eventually. Not sure when though. Oh, Hugo Chavez is here. The sort of compromise. Telling President uh, Central Right. Jeb Bush. Jeb Bush. We had. We only had to clap. He is here. Oh my God! Look at that smile. Um. Yeah, we're gonna maintain to total to total secularism. What the hell is with my tongue today? Um. So, Italy is making a compromise. Convincing conservatives. Okay. So, communists can publicly support Christian values. Okay.
Mm. 